Hello all and welcome. Today we are analyzing a very short game of 22 moves. It is played in 2007 in a Russian place I really cannot pronounce. The game is between uh, Natalia Pogonia and Dmitry Beryukov. So let's uh, give it a go. Natalia has seven the white pieces and she plays e4, d6, d4, g6. Knight c3, bishop g7, bishop e3, c6, queen d2, b5, bishop d3. And let's look at the board. We're only six moves into the game, but already we can uh, can make a quick analysis of what what is going on right here. As you know, as you see, uh, white is uh, far ahead in development. White ha has developed uh, three pieces. And, and the queen, so four pieces in total. Um, well, black only has developed its kingside bishop, but you can also state the c8 bishop is also a bit active. Uh, white has center control and has the possibility to break open the center or play on either side. And you see that uh, black has made some moves with a pawn to create queen side space. So black will be aiming to play on the queen side. Also, the bishop standing on g7 is uh, aiming at the queen side. So the ideas for white are uh, open, and the ideas for black are gaining space and getting play on the queen side. Now, black continues with a6. I don't really like that move. It's not really contributing uh, at the general ideas, I think. Better would have been a move like uh, Queen C7, which contributes uh, to the general idea, or a uh, perhaps a move like uh, Knight to F6, which also adds to gang safety. But A6 is played. A4 immediately questioning the the black play on the queen side. Black plays Bishop to B7. Now with Knight F3, White develops his final uh, minor piece, while Black steeds still are at the stable. Also, if you look at the uh, bishop pair, it is true that the black bishops uh, have control standing at the long diagonals. However, I actually prefer the white bishops because uh, the bishops are standing next to each other and the bishop pair is stronger when they are standing next to each other, simply because of the idea that they are attacking the same region. If they are standing in a crossfire, and they both have effects in different parts of the board. That can be a good thing, but uh, you lose the supplemental idea. Continue with knight f6, catching, uh, catching up a bit in development. Bishop to h6. The idea behind bishop to h6 is that white would love to trade uh, bishops uh, there. Because if black takes, then the queen comes at h6 and has a way into uh, black's camp. Black decides to castle. White also castles. And black plays b4, the idea of uh, gaining queenside space, an earlier plan. Knight to e2, preparing to switch over to the other side to take part in a kingside attack. c5. And now I think uh, e5 would have been a nice idea. Knight to g3, following the plan. And now black takes on h6. And now we see, this, see the idea. The queen comes in at uh, h6 and has access to the enemy king, which is not feeling comf comfortable at all. I think uh, black should play something like knight b to d7 to add some defenders. Black decides to take. White uh, attacks. Now e5. I think now black really has no choice th than to play knight b to d7. e5. I get the idea. First priority of black should be to get uh, all his pieces into the fight. Uh, I get the idea of e5. It uh, tries to free the, free the black camp a bit on the king side. However, this gives white opportunity to play f4. After f4, white can take, adding pressure at the f file to the black king. That's exactly what, uh, what will happen. f4. Now knight b to d7. And uh, now it's too late. White takes. 
it's not because of the pawn, but it's really is because of uh, this line, the F file that White has access to now. Flex, yes, not an um, not option, I think. And now uh, there is a pretty, uh, this is a really pretty white finish. Perhaps you want to find it, then pause the video now. I'll continue in 3, 2, 1. Rook takes f6. Um, yeah, sacrificing the rook for a uh, for knight. Knight takes. Rook f1. Immediately adding the pressure again. Rook to e8, trying to. Uh, I don't know what he's trying to do, but he's trying to survive. And a beautiful move, knight to h5. Threatening checkmates on g7. So, black really has has no option, he has to take the knight. So, black takes the knight, now rook takes f6, and it's all over. However, the game continues a few more moves. Queen takes f6, queen takes f6, rook f8. And queen h6. Now, black realized that further resistance would be futile. So, Dmitry Buryukov resigned, and Natalia Bogonia was happy to claim a short win. Well, thank you for watching, I hope you join me in future games.